Welcome back here in this new video tutorial in Microsoft Excel. Today we are going to learn how to create an advanced source bar in Excel which is able to source from all the columns. Here I have two sheets. One is the source bar sheet and the other is source data. From this source data, this source bar is displaying the result based on the value that we source here. For example, here if I put laptop then here you see the result of the laptop is sourced from the product name column and displayed here similarly if i put here a name of sales representative suras then here it is the detail for the suras only so this source bar is able to source value from any column if i put here the customer name then i will see the customer name based on the value i source here so here we are going to learn how to create this dynamic source bar in excel first of all i will clear the already created source bar and formula from this sheet then we will start with the process now i have only the source data and the source bar sheet so now let's start with the process first of all we need to make here a search bar for this go to insert tab click on illustrations then shapes then draw this shape that is rectangle rounded corner select it then hold your mouse then drag this to create the shape here again click on illustrations click on icons then here search for the icon that is related with search so here i will type search this will display the icons that represents search here i will choose this icon then click on insert now the icon is inserted here you can change the color of this by going to the graphics fill option and change the color if you want here i will take this color i will take the white color then decrease the size of this then place it inside this search bar here in this position now go to developer tab click on insert then click on this text box active x control then draw the text box inside this search bar then here you can adjust the position by dragging this like this way now after drawing the text box right click on it go to properties this will open the properties window here in the linked cell provide the cell link of a1 type here a1 this you can give any cell link but make sure that the cell is blank here i have given a1 then go here in the font option of the properties click on the font option then here go to the three dots this will open the font dialog box from here you can increase the font size or you can also change the font style here i will make the font size of 14 then click ok now close the properties window now here we have to come out from the design mode by clicking on this because currently the design mode is selected so click here now here in the source bar you can type the text like this here the text value is given after you create the source bar then go to the source data then you need to convert this data into table format for this click anywhere inside your data then press ctrl a which will select the whole data then press ctrl t in the keyboard and here you will see create table dialog box click on ok now the table is created which automatically opens the table design tab and here in the table name you can give a different name here i am giving the name is my underscore data now press enter and a new name for this table is created if you go to formula then see in the name manager here you have the my data table now copy the column headers from here control c go to source bar then paste the column header here in the row number seven this way 
now you need to write a formula here to display the result based on the value that we write here in the search bar and here we need to combine and here we need to combine multiple functions to display the result so now start writing the formula here press is equal to type the filter function first open bracket in the array of the filter function provide the table name that you created the name of the table is my data when you type my here it will suggest the table name double click on it then give a comma and here in the include parameter of the filter function we need to combine three functions that is first of all type the not function open bracket then combine the is error function open bracket then again combine the source function open bracket now here in the find text of the source function click on a1 cell where there is a link of the text box then give a comma in the within text we need to now join every single column of our source data so for this first of all type the name of the table that is my data double click on it then open a square bracket then choose the first column of the data that is date of invoice double click on it then close the square bracket now we need to join this with the second column and while joining this with the second column we need to give a separator and while choosing the separator you have to make sure the symbol you are going to use is not appearing anywhere in your data and here i am going to use the star symbol which is not appearing anywhere in the data so here type the and symbol to join then type double quotation type the star symbol then again type the double quotation then type and symbol again this is used to join different columns of our table and this star symbol is used to separate every single column because if we don't use the star symbol then the search result will mess up with multiple columns like uh, if you put some character from the first column and some character from the second column then it will display the result by combining the column so to separate every single column here we have used this separator now copy this part of the formula from this and symbol till the closing bracket select this then right click copy after copying this now again give the table name that is my data double click on it then open a square bracket then choose the second column of the table that is customer name so double click on customer name now you can simply paste the copied value by control v now it has given here now we need to do this for the third column for this type the my data table then open a square bracket then choose the product name column then again paste the copied value control v now you need to repeat this step for all the columns after selecting all the columns then type the closing square bracket now close the search function by giving a normal closing bracket then again close the is error function by another bracket also close the not function by one more bracket now we are in the filter function and give a comma here in the if empty parameter type double quotation then close bracket now after writing this formula press enter which will display the result here here the whole data is displayed because we don't have put any value here in the source bar but if you put here the value like a laptop then here you see the result is searched from the product name column that matches with laptop similarly if you put here another value from sales manager column for example Bharat here you see the result for Bharat 
if you search for the customer name here that is empty trade here you see the result for empty trade only so here our search bar is working perfectly and here you need to take care of one thing that is to source the date we have to provide the number value of the date if we put here the date directly like 112019 this doesn't display any result because in excel the date is represented by number so to source the date we have to put the number value of the date for example if you want to source here 13th january 2019 first of all here in this cell write january 13 2019 then convert this into number format by going here the number value for this date is 43478 so you need to source this value here to find the date if i put here 43478 then it will find this so this we need to consider here while searching for the date and other column search will work perfectly if you want to search a value that is 7400 then here you see it has now searched from the sales value so this is the process of creating the advanced source bar in microsoft excel thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on another video tutorial